<coughs> Since his birth, Ahmed's first steps were a challenging experience. He's nearly 60 and life doesn't seem brighter. He was born blind. However, this handicap did not prevent him from working, getting married, and raising successful kids. Yet crossing this street is still a daily adventure. Many drivers do not understand his signals, while others ignore Ahmed's white cane. I call on drivers to be patient. Sometimes I risk my life while crossing the street because cars do not stop. I'm working with many government agencies and associations to sensitize Tunisian drivers about blind people's rights on the road. This is the research laboratory at Esprit. It is one of the best private universities in Tunisia. Engineering students have developed a prototype device that will facilitate the everyday life of blind people and those who have low vision. For over six months, Mariam and her classmates spent hundreds of hours looking for the best solution to guide blind individuals. Many white sticks were tested. The final smart blind guidance system should see light in a few weeks. We've made a simple but revolutionary device that can detect any obstacle in the street. Our research group has worked closely with blind people to identify and understand their problems. Then we found adequate solutions. Now the system works very well. We finished the experimentation phase. This year, the engineering students won an innovation award at a national competition. Now they are looking for an investor to commercialize 1,000 prototypes. The commercialization of the prototypes aims to finance other research programs. We provide the white stick for a symbolic price though. We're not looking for financial benefits. Our goal is to give hope to the blind people. Tunisia's National Institute of Statistics says that there are 45,000 blind people in the country, while World Health Organization officials believe the numbers are underestimated. Tunisian civil society organizations call on municipalities to improve street infrastructure in order to help blind pedestrians. Adventure CGTN, Tunis.